now with not enough hours in the day. The scramble and struggle for millions of working parents, some insights on the major new challenges frustrating so many families. Here's ABC's Karen Travers. It is the burning question for working parents like Lori Johnson. How and when will their kids get back to school? The biggest challenge is there's just not enough hours in the day. Lori lives in South Carolina and has two children, ages seven and four. She and her husband are juggling full-time jobs at home, taking care of the kids and distance learning. I was on a, a video call for work just with co coworkers, luckily, and the four-year-old walked in naked. Um, to every Everyone thought that was hilarious. I was like... Ralphie is the coordinator of an after-school program in Harlem for kids ages 8 through 12, a program that, like school, has gone virtual during the COVID-19 shutdowns. It was like two weeks in or maybe three weeks in, I started realizing I was really frustrated with my kids and really upset with them because um, I couldn't sit down and get my work done. So, Ralphie, Lori, and millions of working parents have had to quickly adjust to this new normal without the usual childcare arrangements. There are no networks right now just because of social distancing. You can't rely on your friend or your family or your neighbor or someone across the street. Bridget Schulte is the author of Overwhelmed, Work, Love, and Play When No One Has the Time. She says parents always knew the challenge of work and child care, but the coronavirus pandemic is pulling back the curtain. I think a lot of it reflects this long-standing notion in our country that family matters are a private affair and that you just need to figure it all out. I don't want to hear about it. Our child care system, and I say that very lightly, it's really not a system. It's very fragile. It's uh, kind of patched together. It's very difficult to find quality care, difficult to afford. Under the White House reopening guidelines, states can choose to open some businesses in phase one, but they cannot open schools until phase two. Schools in 48 states and Washington, D.C. closed for the remainder of the academic year. The extra load on parents doesn't end there. Many summer camps canceled, including the one Lori Johnson's seven-year-old daughter was set to attend. That breaks my heart for her. She's going to be eight years old. Like That means she's going to have to sit inside Monday through Friday all day. So for the foreseeable future, parents are scrambling. And parents who can work from home are simply getting used to doing a work conference call with their kids near them. I mean, we are still expected to put in a full day's work. It's just impossible. Bridget Schulte says working parents need to cut themselves some slack right now. This is not a time for anybody to be able to give 100%. Getting through the end of the day is difficult. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington. And our thanks to Karen for that report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.